In this video I'm going to show how to use HiSys and the software DWC to solve a very simple thermodynamic problem. The problem consists on the following. There is a stream with the composition listed in the table below. It's a mixture of methane, ethane, propane, nitrogen and CO2 with uh, the shown molar fractions. The main component is the methane because it has the highest molar fraction while the other ones are low. The conditions of pressure and temperature are 55 power and 3 degrees Celsius and the stream is flowing with a flow of 2677 kilogram mol per hour. The idea or the goal is to take this stream to another pressure condition of 23 bar keeping the same temperature. For that it is this the following process is used. The stream is passing through a heat exchanger when it is heated to a certain temperature but keeping the, the same pressure of 55 bar and then uh, it passes through a valve where there is an expansion of 32 bar to take it to a pressure of 23 bar and a temperature of 3 degrees Celsius. This is an implicit, implicit problem because if we have the conditions downstream the valve that, that's uh, 23 bar and 3 degrees Celsius but the temperature conditions upstream the valve are not known. So basically the problem is to find the right temperature that with an expansion from 55 bar to 23 bar will give you a downstream temperature of 3 degrees Celsius. And after that it's possible to calculate the heat flow that the heat exchanger has to provide to raise the temperature from 3 degrees to that temperature upstream the valve. Before doing it with the HiSys and DWSIM, we are going to use uh, a thermodynamical diagram called the Molière diagram. In this diagram we have pressure on the y-axis and enthalpy on the x-axis. And this, is, this diagram was made for methane. In our case we have a mixture of some other components, but the molar fractions are low, so uh, it might be a good approximation for this case. Here we don't have to care too much about the rest of the lines, but we have to look at this S-shaped line that is an isothermal line with a temperature, this one has 50 degrees Celsius, 0 degrees Celsius, 50 degrees Celsius, and 100 degrees Celsius, and so forth. First we locate the downstream, the point downstream the valve, that that's 3, and we know that this point has a, a pressure of 23 bar, that's about here, and we move to the right and then we knock on the line of 3 degrees Celsius and that's about here. And then we know that the expansion in the valve is isenthalpic so it will keep the same enthalpy that means that the point 2 will be being on a vertical line up until we knock on the uh, horizontal line of 5.5 bar. When we do that we can roughly approximate the temperature, the temperature is of the point 2 upstream the valve is going to be between uh, 18 and 20 degrees Celsius. This is a, a rough approximation but uh, is to have a, an idea of what will be the, the temperature upstream the valve. So now we continue with the HiSys, we open the HiSys and first we create a new case and we save it this case we will call expansion we accept they had another one expansion and then here on the tools on the preferences I want to change the units because the units might be by default not on bar and degree Celsius and kilogram mole per hour so I go here the SI and just clone this unit and just leave it like new user and I go down and I look for the first the temperature T temperature is in degrees Celsius so we don't have to change anything there we go to the pressure and the pressure is in kilopascal so I change it to bar we go to the molar flow with M molar moles molar flow and it's in the right the, the right unit. So I just close it and the fluid package I add a new fluid package and that fluid package we are going to work with the equation of state 
that's Ben Robinson. And now I go to the components. I double click here and I add the components for methane, ethane, propane, nitrogen. To look for the nitrogen, I can use the search utility here nitrogen and now CO2. Just close this screen and that's all. We have to define the components and define the equation of data we're going to use. Now I enter, click here, enter the simulation environment. First I have to add the material stream, that's the uh, number one. It has already the right numbering, number one. I just double click on it. And now I have to put the composition. So I click edit here and I will put here the right composition. To do that I go here, I select the composition, and then I paste it in, in Excel to avoid any format problems. And then I copy it again from Excel and paste it in Hisis. You can do it manually, but just to save some time. We see that the total is not one, but it's a bit more than one. It might be because of the precision of the the, the the precision. So we just click here normalized, and now it gives one. It's modified a little bit the the mole, mole fraction to have here this total sum of one. Now we click OK. And now it has a composition, and now I have to put the pressure and temperature conditions. The temperature is 3 degrees Celsius, and the pressure is 55 bar. And the rate, the molar flow rate, uh, was 2,677 kg mole. This and I just put now the heat exchanger. Just click and click once more on the screen. And now if we open, if we open the heat exchanger, we see that it needs an uh, inlet an outlet stream and an energy stream. So we're missing two more streams. One is the material stream here, and that has the right name, has two, and energy stream that goes here. And now we just connect it with this menu. We click one, energy Q100, an outlet number two. We go, it says here unknown delta P, so we go to the side menu, to the parameters, and we say that the delta P is zero. We don't want to have any delta P. And for now we leave it, for now we could say that this temperature for a right for a first approximation we can put 20, that that's the value that we read from the Moliere's diagram. And we see here that the energy stream is saying that it requires a power or a heat flow of 543 kilowatts to raise the temperature from 3 degrees Celsius to 20 degrees Celsius. Now we have the valve. You just here again and put it and the valve needs if you open it you need only inlet and outlet so we have to put another material stream double click on the valve and the valve is two and the outlet is three and the parameters we here we don't have to put it says unknown delta p but there is another way to do it that you can specify the conditions of three so you, we put here that the pressure is was 23 bar and it already calculated because we had the conditions of pressure and temperature upstream the valve and with the pressure downstream the valve calculated the delta p of the valve and also the temperature downstream the valve we see that the value is 4.3 is very close to 3 but it's not exactly the value here the HISIS has a, a facility to do backward calculation to do this uh, implicit calculation automatically so how do we do it? First we have to say that we don't have this temperature, just erase it. And then it's going to say we don't know the temperature. And everything is going to be highlighted because it doesn't have enough data to do the calculation. But now if we open 3, we will be able to change and put here 3 degrees Celsius and 23 bar. And with this one, it, the HISIS automatically did the backwards calculation, the implicit calculation, and calculated the temperature at the inlet of the valve. And that temperature is 18.77 degrees Celsius, as very close to what we obtained with the Moliere diagram. And if you see the, the power, the heat flow required is uh, 504.3 kilowatts. We just save the case. That's the example using the HISIS. And now we go to the DWCM click on new simulation take some time be patient
Okay, now it's asking for the components that we're going to use. Here we can use this search bar to put uh, methane. We add the methane, methane, propane, nitrogen, and carbon dioxide, carbon dioxide. Also here on the left menu we can click on thermodynamics, property package and we choose to work with the equation of state model and Penn Robinson. We just click add here. If we go here to the options and the unit system, here we have the unit system, he ha here we have the SI system. So we go and click and we do the same, custom, we don't want to mess with the SI system predefined on the DWC but we go to custom and we check here that the pressure, it has to be in bar and the temperature in degrees Celsius and uh, the other thing was the molar flow rate we want it to be in uh, kilogram mole per hour okay, now we just click back to simulation now we just save the file save the simulation just in case and we put again expansion first we add like we did with the ISIS uh, material stream in this case you have to click on the side menu and you have to drag the stream here we have to put the composition the trick it doesn't work with the DW sim so we have to click one by one one two and carbon dioxide we see that the sum is again more than one so you have to normalize click apply and close and now this stream has a composition we want to change the name to our nomenclature that this is one so we click here on the tab we first click on the stream and then click on the tab of appearance appearance and then we change the name the properties of this stream are 3 degrees celsius we change it here and 55 bar the molar flow rate it's 2677 kilogram mole per hour now we take the heater we just drag it to the to the arena and also take the heater if you click on it you say that it requires a inlet stream outlet stream and energy stream so you have to drag a material stream we close the composition of this stream will be given by the composition of one and then we drag the energy stream and here we change in appearance we change the name that's two and here we connect this to one the outlet stream is 2 and the energy stream is this one and we have to define by default if you click on the heat exchanger it's saying that the pressure drop there is no pressure drop but the calculation mode it says that it, you provide a heat and it will calculate the temperature we, we can have also another type that's outlet temperature we can say that the outlet temperature is we knew from the Molière diagram is close to 20 So here now if you click 2 you will see that this pressure is the same but the temperature is 20, it's, uh, 20 degrees celsius. Now we drag the valve, we click on the valve, we drag it. And now we click the valve, if you click on it, it requires an inlet stream and outlet stream. So you drag, click on the material stream and drag it, you close it and just change the name, it will be 3. Now on the valve, we click in the stream, that's 2, and out the stream, that's 3, and we want that the outlet pressure is 23 bar. 
Now we see that the conditions downstream the valve they are 4.3 degrees Celsius that's very close to 3 but it's not exactly the number that we want. Now the DW sim doesn't have the capability of doing implicit calculations like the HiSys does. That means that I cannot just erase this temperature here on the heat exchanger and put 3 here and let the DW sim calculate it automatically. I have to use another element and that's the adjust. I drag the adjust here and the adjust I have to put the variable that I want to control. I want to control the temperature at 3. 3 temperature and I click OK. And I want to control this temperature by changing what? By changing in the heat exchanger. In the heat exchanger. It's not a heat exchanger, but it's on the heater, uh, simpler than the heat exchanger. Click heat, and then the outlet temperature, that's what we want to change. And this outlet temperature has to be, we know, it can be between 10 and 30. This is not necessary, but it improves the convergence process. We want that the control variable, we have a value of 3 degrees Celsius. We increase a bit the number of iterations in case it takes more than 10. The tolerance, we will be satisfied if the temperature is 3 plus uh, 0.01 or 3 minus 0.01. We're not so strict on that. And the step size is how much I'm going to change the temperature to 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 you know to see which, what changes does it make in temperature 3. So let's put the same tolerance 0.01. Now to start it, I'm going to the control panel. We click in Start Adjust, and the iterations begin and continue. You can see here the error, and that error has to fall below 0 0.01. Now it it finished. We can close this window, and if if we see now in stream two. The temperature is 18.806 and that's very close to the result that we got with the HISIS. And the heat flow, it's uh, 508 kilowatts. We save the simulation and finish.